Okay. Chaos Dwarves. Just, this is the point where you just down TV every game and it makes me not want to play Blood Bowl anymore. Bunch of guards, some claw, some mighty blow. Alright. 114 lost one. Brilliant. I gotta go for the wizard even though even though a babe uh, what's it called? Babes or a apple might be an idea. It's because I've left it too late though, and now I'm forced to play, isn't it? That's the thing. I'm being, I'm being forced to play with these with this chaos team instead of, instead of not having to play with this chaos. I could be playing the Brett for fun, but I have to play this chaos team to, um, to try to qualify. Yeah, I got a wizard. I mean, this this is like the game against Spartaco, except I've got no one to fucking, you know. I ain't got Dark Elves with a wizard. I've got fucking Chaos, but still. Wizard against Chalfs is pretty good, to be fair. It means he's got to carry on a Hobgoblin instead of a bull. He doesn't have frenzy, does he? So. Can just do a normal setup. Keep the uh, ball carrier. The best Fagor gets to sit on the bench. Yeah, Pedro, I won today, which is why I, uh, which is why I made him kick. I uh, won against, won, won against the one where it doesn't matter. The yeah, three reserves didn't really blow it though when he, when at this TV you now. Plus, it's only the same as like two reserves for chaos, isn't it? And he's got a dirty player, so it means he's going to foul a lot. So yeah, it's not not really blow. It. Yeah, I could even go up to thirteen to be honest. His team isn't that rowdy. But still rowdier than rowdier than mine. Well, he doesn't have the combination of, of he's got two mighty blow and a claw. But they're not stacked. So it's yeah, it's less bashy than this team. But he does have the fouls. And probably the luck. <laughs> <laughs> Equal guard. And I've got more strength, more movement, more agility. And a wizard. So, it's not a horrible matchup by any means. But by the same token, <laughs> I'm not exactly happy about losing the losing the toss. Be much better to remove remove chaffs, you know, on my drive, wouldn't it? Instead of starting with beastmen getting removed. <laughs> Yeah, of course.
Well, his claw isn't as threatening as Mighty Blow, is it? At the end of the day. He does have Mighty Blow. He does have Guard, though. Just have to go for the strength, seeing as. You can't hit the Mighty Blow or the Claw without being based. Hmm, this is not fouling. He couldn't read, he could he, but still. At least he's not. Fucking knew it. I'm going to put him there to stop assists that aren't guard. Leave him lying down, he can one dice, and then stuff like that can happen. Ugh. Bit rough. One day is two day. I mean, to be fair, you can't really judge somebody from one game, can you? Easy. It is easy to play shit one game, but the only way you can really judge somebody off one game is if they do fundamental things wrong, such as blocking straight forward on the LOS with your dirty player instead of your piling on mighty blow player. Like that's the only, <laughs> that's the level of bad you can judge people with one game from one game. <laughs> but um. He might just blitz with a bull mat here, mightn't he, to get 2D on that guarder. Only, uh, only one player down, Pedro. So far. Unbelievable, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Pedro. Exactly, setting up three dice blocks and then getting one dice cast from it. This is interesting, isn't it? Because he's put himself into it. He's got himself into a bit of a predicament by uh, not blitzing with a bull.
taken a while, isn't he? Maybe he's thinking about the wizard. It's not even vaguely on my mind at the moment. This isn't a safe mood first, is it? But I'm thinking of blitzing with this guy. Hmm, let's do this block first. Nice. There's no safe moves for us to be out here. This is the actual safe move then here. And this one. We'll blitz him. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he can block and then he can come out and protect a little bit. So yeah, this seems reasonable. And he should have stood up first. I guess that was a safe move, to be fair. Could potentially blitz with him. Because then the claw is safe for the next turn. He blitzes, follows, then he can come in for the assist, and he can get out and protect them. So yeah, okay, this seems actually pretty reasonable. Don't get the pow. Gotta greet this one. Oh, fuck me. Just gotta get everybody in now then. Now that lets him chain out the fucking guard, doesn't it? Too late now. Yeah, Spawn of Cthulhu is not, it's not good, is it? I had some luck against Spartaco, to be fair. Like, if his wizard hasn't been, hadn't been completely amazing. Um, you know, like, if he'd failed to pick up, or if he'd failed to pass, like, if he'd fumbled the pass, if he'd failed to pick up, if he just hadn't knocked over the ball carrier and the two people in front of him as well and got a stun like his fireball was pretty good to be fair and then that send off and stuff yeah I let him chain out this this was bad of me letting him chain out the guard guy very poor but it was too late by then Yeah, now he gets to claw. Now he gets to claw my claw. I mean, he could have done this anyway without chaining away the the, the guy. If uh, so, it's not really that bad. It's not really that bad that I let him chain him away. 
because he could have just got an extra assist in. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely fucking standard. <sighs> Four dice it is, nothing. Two dice at mine, KO. Six dice, in fact, nothing. And he answers with two KOs. That's just, un I mean, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? It's absolutely unbelievable. No knockdowns to two KOs. It's just a joke. Wish I could do so anything other than play a blood bowl, but I've trapped myself with having to go to the hospital and ha wanting to qualify. Just have to hit the mighty ball guy, there's no there's no other option. Try to get people standing, I guess. Pretty good, pretty good turn of dodges. <laughs> Remembered the frenzy bull. It's just not been remotely fair today. Nah, it's been remotely fair at the end of the day. Against Crucifer, my misclick cost me two players, and my idiotic play cost me a player. So, you know, it's fair enough. And then, against Spartaco, the dice were always going to have an effect, weren't they? That wizard. Eight, eight players I haven't removed. Oh yeah, got 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 one down, but he's got three down, and he ain't even got a rowdy team. He's got two mighty blow and a claw. Yeah, the Crucifer one, not so much, was it? The Crucifer one was just a bash fest. A one-way bash fest, and then me being an idiotic to lose it. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the Sparkle game. It was it was a good... It was That's what Blood Bowl should be about, isn't it, really? That was a pretty good game, but then... Hmm. I feel like just knocking down the Mighty Blow every turn is, is good.
we're just pushing in as well. Total war blood bar. <laughs> yeah, it should be. <laughs> That'd be pretty good, PZO, wouldn't it? If I can just kind of like, maybe I should. Hmm. If I can kind of stop and breaking through a little bit and get a wizard and some pressure, if I can keep it nil nil this half, get some KOs back, maybe get maybe win one nil. I guess it's possible. But it's really tough, obviously, three guys out. Need one of these two back, 100%. Rookie, so I can't apple him anymore. No, oh, God, just getting bashed to fuck. It's just stupid, isn't it? It's just fucking stupid. The car's just KO'd. But still, three KOs in a Kaz. Versus fucking nothing. Oh no, one KO. It's just stupid, isn't it? It's just stupid. It's not even fair. It's not even vaguely fair. Not even remotely fair. And he just hasn't even done anything good. And he's 14 1 0. He hasn't done any. Anything well. Now obviously he hasn't needed to. But still. He's not inspiring though. He's not even getting to make more blocks or anything. He's just making one blitz a turn and just getting lucky every single turn. It's just fucking stupid. He's probably getting out blocked. He's just getting lucky. It is a typical case, except he's not even a fucking he's not even a bash team. That's the fucking stupid thing though, isn't it? He's got two mighty blow and a claw. He shouldn't have had three KOs and a and a Kaz from from the amount of blocks he's made with the skills he's got. No fucking way. It takes forever as well. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the fucking knockdown, eh? I'll get the fucking double skull. But then it's not surprising that I'm the one who's got the double skull because I'm the one who's out blocking him all the time. Despite him being three men up. GFI to pace.
Hello, Senna 89. Yeah, sorry, hard up the case. Been diced, uh, well, got unlucky getting mashed up 200 TV down against Crucifer's Nurgle. And then I ultimately made a miss mistake and a misclick, <laughs> which were brutally punished, so I just conceded. Um, and then 100 TV up against Spartaco, which made him get a wizard and uh, and then obviously the wizard worked out for him very well. So he was pretty lucky to have the wizard work out as well as it did, to be honest. Um, but you know, obviously Spartaco's good, so there you go. Maybe it is TLC. Yeah, maybe he's bite size centre. I mean, there's no shim losing it to crew, to a uh, sparkle, is there? So, but even then, he 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 did roll pretty well to get the to get the win. Whereas the games against this game and the game against Crucif were absolute shit shows. Yeah, I can't make it. It's just it's just hard because it's just hard mentally to make it now. It's still pretty easy to win eight, lose three or whatever and still be the top rated chaos team, but Yeah, that's the problem. That is the problem to LC. The problem is is mentally um now because I don't have time to switch to Brett's. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Looks like he's got enough now to force through the touchdown, unfortunately. Oh my god, he takes so long every turn. I guess that's a good strategy, because people are going to get pissed off. They're waiting so long every single fucking turn. Fucking knockdown, outrageous. Didn't really have any choice there, did I? Kind of shit that if I dodge this dwarf can base here. I oh, know he can't, he'd have to GFI. So bad. <laughs> yeah, it has come to something when I wish I'm playing Brett. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, the dodges and GFIs have been something else. But I mean, getting this out blocked by a team with really less blocking ability. 
is uh, not good. Yeah, there could be a whiz opportunity, to be fair. If he doesn't knock down this warrior, the warrior could score, couldn't he? With like four GFIs, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this warrior is four GFIs away from scoring. Yep. He is. Oh, he's rolled a one. If he fails this. Oh, man. If he'd failed that, the whiz and then pass would have been on. Holy shit. <laughs> that would have been fucking epic. <laughs> no, I'm, that's already on the paper TLC. I, I, I don't need to write that on paper, but I just can't switch now because there's not enough time left to switch. That's the problem because I've got to stop six days before the end of the ladder. That is the problem. That's a pretty good blitz, isn't it? It gets in the two dice there and it gets in the two dice there as well. I think I go for the fireball here. Because... Oh no, he follows, okay. Hmm. Still though, if he goes down, I can get a two dice on the ball. If he goes down, I can get a two dice on the ball. And if he goes down, he's down. Not anymore. Yeah, no, if he goes down, no, it's not good. And he's got a GFI to base, yeah. Uh, fireball not looking so good now, then, is it really? Can I come round the back? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. If this is a power, it's a two dice round the back. Fuck it, let's go for it. Huge. Could dodge out and put a guard in there, and then it's two dice. Yeah, that's worth it, isn't it? Oh, I could have scored. <laughs> oh, well, probably best not to go for the canoring Ring threat anyway, let's be honest. There's a reason why canoring threats are, ma are mocked, and that's that's what it is. Got a reroll, so might as well do these. Because TLC, I have to go for surgery six days before the ladder ends. So, um, my, my season is going to end on the 23rd. 
instead of the 29th. So I, I'm just, because I've lost six days from the season, I pretty much have to play Teos continuously. Yeah, need, need to get at least one of these two, preferably, obviously preferably both. The, the, my, the dirty player doesn't really matter. But obviously both, if both of these come back, it's really good. Well, the third player matters actually because I'm down to uh, 10 otherwise. But if, if these two come back and I'm on 10, it's all right. Um, he's going to be on 11, whatever happens. Yeah, if only one of them comes back. And it's 9 against 11 in the second half. But with a wizard to force through the touchdown, there's half a chance, isn't there? No, that one block clears both. That's pretty good, isn't it? He's not bad, is he? He's not bad at blood ball. What does he do then? 4 plus pick up, 3 plus dodge, 4 plus handoff, 2 GFIs to score. It's just annoying that he's been basing people and not being punished. And he's been lucky with his removals. That, that's that's the annoying thing because really the the removal should be the other way around. This half didn't get the knockdown though. So that makes that adds a three plus to the sequence. I just get a surf though. <laughs> Probably Royal Rimbo. I don't know off the top of my head. So yes, yeah, so now he's got a four plus pick up, dodge out, four plus handoff, and then oh, actually I guess he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. I can just get there with two GFIs. He doesn't need a handoff. What a derp! I didn't think he was in range. Yeah, I didn't realise he wasn't in range. I thought he had a handoff. So you obviously go for the serve. I thought you had a handoff. Oh, fuck. Guess I should have wizarded then, eh? So there you go, draw at best. Fucking skip, you cunt of a fucking game. Yeah, obviously I get, I don't get him back. Yeah, I yeah, I thought he was out of range. Yeah, so the score was pretty easy actually. He was a good chain away, and then. It, after that, it was pretty easy with him being in range. So yeah, I would have gone for the surf too then if I'd if I'd realised he was in range. But when I said, "Oh, he didn't get the knockdown," I thought he had a handoff to score, but he didn't even have to. What a bastard! Eh? It's actually that guard that I thought was so clever getting in. Didn't make any difference, did he? Hmm. I'm not going to try for any any funny business here. Four, five, six. Yeah, I might be able to get three dice all all around here. 
And there might be a there might be a riot here. You never know. No, that wasn't right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that's pretty good. He can go just six four like a dickhead. Frenzy ball doesn't matter, does it? There was no need to go down the sideline with uh, with him setting up far behind. Yeah, rookie. Obviously, it was the rookie that died, not the plus strength or the claw, my, or the claw guard. <laughs> Had to be the rookie. One, two, three, four, five, six. Short pass. Runs in, hands off, and then he scores somehow. On the other hand, he would have appalled one of the others, so it wasn't that bad that it was him who was killed. Yeah, exactly. It is a dead chore for the end of the day. Well, you don't know that rotten blood, do you? I mean, you can't really say that. Oh, God, if only you could do that, TLC, yeah. If only you could do that, but no, it'd have to be done at the start, which would be fucking ballsy, to say the least.
10 years later. I mean, I could bolt, obviously I could bolt this guy. If I had the ball in hand, it'd be a lot, a lot better, wouldn't it? But I don't think it's worth using the, using the wizard on such a low percentage play. I think if I already had the ball, or if he already had the ball, you know, because could bolt him, blitz him, and then do the pa pick up, pass, catch, handoff. I don't think it's worth using the wizard. He could blitz him, and then get the power to dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. That's looking like the best. The best chance of success. Or maybe he could run around there. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Could blitz him and then push him around. But no. The bolt's kind of tempting, isn't it? Because bolting him then blitzing would be amazing. But it's really low percentage. It's really low percentage to uh, to make the pick up, pick up, pass, catch, hand off. It's fucking bollocks, isn't it? It ain't. It ain't gonna fucking work. Let's be honest. Definitely if I don't go to the right square. Oh well. Looks like I should have used the wizard, eh? Would have been a GFI away if I'd used the wizard. I think if I had the ball on, on the beast man to start with, I might have gone for it. I probably wouldn't have anyway, though. Because I might need the wizard to score in the second half anyway to make it 1 1. Got a feeling that's the dirty player in the claw straight out. No? Good. Alright. Okay, but at least now it's a draw, at least. Well, it should be a draw anyway. Obviously, it's not a draw yet, but with a wizard, claw back, should be a draw. Just sucks to play for a draw, doesn't it? That's the thing. I, probably, I might not even need the wizard this half as well, so maybe I should have gone for it. It's fair enough having them on the line, because obviously I'm going to hit with the claw anyway, aren't I? Whether it's a blitz or a block, so...
could hard up a case, I guess could do. If I get like fucking three removals, I guess, off the LOS. It's just he's got so many more players, hasn't he? It's a problem. I should use the wizard then. Where can Claw go? Could blitz him with a mighty blow guy. Four. Frenzy's the other side, they can still do stuff though. Maybe just blitz him with an assist, eh? Three, three double skulls this game, just quietly. He's gonna blitz him and put pressure on. Both down here. No. Needs the claws safe. Safer than the ball. <laughs> Yeah, Lemon is good. Uh, some guy in fumble. I did the maths and he reckons one. One assistant coach and one cheerleader is usually worth it. Obviously, only a decent TV.
wish I kind of wish I'd use the wizard then with all them rolls. Even players, I think. I think it's ten each. Oh no, just one one player down. One player down at the moment. Gotta watch out for them movement nine players, haven't you? Movement nine agility four players. One, two, three, four, five, six, over there. Probably not gonna get us there. Of everything, the perfect sage team. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, finally rolls a double skull. Good. Good for you. Yeah, it was really risky to use the, use the wizard last time. On the last time. Yeah, Pedro, he's not very good, is he? You need frenzy to for all the gym pals. How I met how how I like to make a dedicated surfer is block frenzy claw mighty blow piling on. <laughs> then he's a dedicated surfer because he'll only ever fucking roll pushes. Base, base, base. Making these dodges as well, like a fucking idiot every time. Oh, 
fucking hell. I haven't removed anyone in, in three turns. With a claw mighty with three claw mighty blow hits and some mighty blow hits. Meanwhile on his drive after three turns he'd killed half the fucking team. I can't believe he just dodges out every turn as well. Fucking lunatic. Right, four turns to score after this turn. Cutting it fine. Because I'm just scared to give up block and men down as well. Mm-hmm, of course. At least he needs to make assist, gets assists in here to do anything, so... Start going forward next turn.
Not afraid to one dice, is he? Oh my god, you finished your turn, you fucking bell end. Jesus Christ. I'm actually glad he, he spent those last seconds to make his turn worse. That worked out pretty okay, didn't it? That's not going forward though, is it? But never mind. It's setting up to go forward. Which is kind of the same thing. Holy shit. Got a Kaz. Just to jump oh, first. But I'm hoping it wasn't a one in twelve nine six. Jeff. It's a shame because I wanted to blitz the fucking bull and he did protect the bull. But when he was side by side with the bull, it, he put it into a worse spot by making it one square forward, didn't he? Exposed it more. Yeah, exactly. If this had come first half, it would have been alright, wouldn't it? Would have been win, probably. If this had happened first half. <laughs> if all this had happened first half, yeah. Would have probably been a win. Can always use the bolt as well at some point. Really have to get forward next turn. But he's based up pretty much, isn't he? Frenzy being a negatrate here, really. Classy stuns the frenzy here. 
could have bolted the other bull and served him. But no, he gets the armor break. Pretty annoying. The problem isn't getting a hit on the ball, it's keeping the ball safe, isn't it? Is a bit of a bit of a problem. Yeah, there's four double schools this game now. Just quietly. Pretty greedy one, guys. He could have just moved the dodge guy around, couldn't he? Would have been amazing to have whizzed the uh, whizzed the other guy, but then I would have failed double one to GFI to hit the ball. Would have been great though to whiz whiz one ball and surf the other one. Would have been outstanding. Four double skulls is ridiculous, to be fair. A few one in nines, yeah. Yeah, so you can... You, you can't really make it, I don't think it's hard for him to make it two dice, isn't it, I think. I guess he can make it a one dice and a two dice.
he's just blocking people for fun. Oh, I guess he still can make it one day, so not too bad. She is hard up the kids. I could run around that way, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, what a derp I am, yeah, of course, you can just run around that way. I was thinking about the frenzy guy, but yeah, you can just go around that way, fair enough. Doesn't have to reroll because he's got the frenzy hit as well. No, oh, shit. Didn't think about that. Let's just bolt him first. One, two, three, four, five, six. two dodges to get the ball so all he can really do is jam the ball in I did need to bolt him didn't I? I think I had to bolt him to do all of that stuff I'm happy that that was required too easy and what can he do here blitz base the ball base 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 one, two, three, four, blitz him, then double base the ball. So failing this dodge would be worse. So maybe I shouldn't make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. But if he double bases, it's easier to get him away. Hmm. Maybe I just leave him there. Occupies a player, doesn't it? Thanks on that, man. Yeah, it's two two dodges though, kiss a ten and it hit the ball with him. That's the thing.
Maybe he'll just go for the one dicer with the dodge guy. I wish this had happened in the first half. <laughs> That would have been pretty good. That would have been pretty good if he'd been down a fucking ball. Down his edge for sure hands. Down a guard chaff. That would have been pretty good if this had been the first half. And I don't think I've taken anything this half. Nothing. Three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, yeah, taken nothing. I have to start with 10. So you use break tackle on the first one. He has to now, doesn't he? This is a six plus to two dies. Fucking die. Piece of shit. I got a reroll, so. Oh, he's leveled. No point surfing his guy. I just want the SPPs. So while I'm aware that I could surf this guy. into three, not bad. Oh, he's got dodge. No, he didn't. Some random guy. Yeah, it sucked having to take the draw, but it's just won the to won the toss, wasn't it? That was it. He won the toss. Could have still won. You know, with a bit a bit more dice in the first half. But, you know, if I'd won the toss, it would have probably been a win, wouldn't it? Because cause that, that happened. <laughs> when, I, when I got to receive, this happened. And if that had happened in the first half, he'd have been done, wouldn't he? He'd have been fucking Dan, John. Get yeah, shitters on the yellow ass. God, unfortunately, the tackle guy. The tackle guy's too good. He's got. He can't go on the yellow ass. Fuck. Man, I got the. I got the riot, didn't I? So I mean, it was incredibly lucky to get the riot. But I probably, you know, it, it's just the time cost, wasn't it? Really. I guess he got a little bit of dice roll to score. After being careless with the position of his ball carrier. But then, I was careless with the position of mine, but then I couldn't really do much about it with two fucking break tackle balls. And I thought about the one that was right there, but I didn't think of the other one. Probably should have done the dodge with the... Uh, with somebody to block off the backside ball. And it's funny because I'd got him round the back as well. Look 
fucking hell. Three games without winning today. <laughs> but at least it's not a third... Well, probably isn't going to be a third loss in a row. Funny though, isn't it? Exactly the problem with chaos. At low TV, I think I could have just outplayed this guy. And won. But then, because he wins the toss, he gets mighty blown shit. You could just get a riot though, couldn't he? You could just get a riot. I think that's that, That's what I'm really, like, you know, thinking. I don't think he's going to try it one turn, but he could get the riot like I did. Full one turns. Unlikely. Also, he doesn't have 11 players, so pretty much impossible. You don't need 11, you, you need 10, maybe even 9. But um, it's just unlikely, isn't it? Ah, he's rolled his double score. Second double score, I think. Well, it's movement 7. <laughs> He's a normal movement seven, isn't he? So you'd have to know how to do it, and you'd have to the dice rolls are the are the important thing. But I think you probably didn't have enough guys to do it. Anyway, uh, the first half was horrible. I mean, it, obviously, I should have got more more AV brace, so I was obviously going to block him. Fifty one blocks. This is the uh, this is the exciting thing. Yeah, a one in. One and nine with him, double skull with him, double skull, double skull. <laughs> Three double skulls there. And there's the four. Four double skulls. <sighs> Pretty brutal. So I guess to draw a game... Well, you're down by 100 TV and you're all affordable skulls. It's not It's not that bad, is it? It's not that bad, I guess. And got guard on him as well, which is nice. So now I've got a few guard guys to do things. Could almost go up to 13 players. But it, it looks really soft if it goes up to 13 players. Sixteen twenty, and there's only one claw mighty blow. Two cars away though, isn't he, from getting piling on. And he's eight away from getting claw, which will make him a lot better. So, best for go, still far away. <laughs> Getting there, but hard, hard day so far, isn't it? Holy shit, just one game left. Probably. Stop pretending to be shit ox. Yeah, the thing is, though, you can't get a killer with one skill, can you? That's the thing, you know? Um, <laughs> well, Rama said, it's, uh, you can't really go that far, but still. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.